Welcome to what in my opinion might be the best hotel in all of Bali. So this resort is called Wabadi Ume Sideman. It is located in one of the most beautiful areas of Bali and the resort itself is stunning. And besides that, it's actually quite affordable. So let's check it out. Good morning, so we're just about to go jump on the scooter and head towards Sidemen, where the hotel is located. And it should be around a 40 minute drive to get there. But I also just wanted to appreciate how great the weather is today. It's just blue skies, completely sunny. I mean, we are in the middle of rainy season here in Bali, but to be honest, in the past month, it has barely rained at all. So I guess that's just a little heads up if you're too scared to go to Bali in rainy season because of, well, how it sounds. Don't be. Usually it rains for like an hour in the afternoon or something. And the rest of the time the weather is pretty good. But let's get going. Yeah. Hello. Thank you, how are you? Great. Great, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, so this is just the lobby here. I mean, come on, what have you? Welcome to you. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Um, we call ginger cooler. Ginger cooler. Yeah, it's made from fresh ginger with some soda and lime. Thank you. And the straw is from the papaya trunk. Oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> Please enjoy. Thanks so much. The straw is really cool. What was it, papaya? Yeah, the papaya stem. The papaya stem. That's pretty smart. So we arrived a couple of hours before we can actually check in to our villa, but I mean, we did have to check out of the other place we were staying at. So uh, hopefully we can just go to the restaurant and have a great lunch. You don't mind, before I will escort you to the restaurant, we have the welcome blessing in here. This is the holy water from the temple. As we believe, the real stay will be get blessed. Can I do it? Yes. 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 This is the splash water into your head. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. God bless you. Excuse me. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. And also here we have Tridatu bracelet. Mm -hmm. This is the symbolist of the Trinity. This is the in the right hand place because we believe like a good spirit will be in your hand. This is the symbol of three main god, Brahma, Vishnu, and Siwa. It's like for creator, protector, and destroyer. With three different color also, yeah? Red, black, and white. Brahma, Vishnu, and Siwa. God bless you. Terima kasih. Thank you. I will escort you to the restaurant. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you. <laughs> this restaurant, such a beautiful bamboo design. And I mean, the view is pretty spectacular. The staff here are just super friendly. Probably some of the like friendliest and best service we've experienced so far. So we have these two beautiful pools down here in like two different levels. Down below, there's a river that kind of wraps around the property here. And then of course, we're also just surrounded by the rice terraces. Food has arrived and it looks delicious. I got some yellow curry. I think Sally is looking even more delicious. What is it, like tuna? Tuna bowl. Tu yeah, tuna bowl. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, this is the view that greets you when you enter this villa. And here's Sally. Hi, Sally. <laughs> I think someone likes this, <laughs> this place. <laughs> Your own pretty huge private pool here and just the most amazing views overlooking the rice fields and the valley with mountains in the background. Have a large sunbed and then the pool just wraps all around the room itself, which is in here. So let's head inside first. 
and it's also a very beautiful room. And this bed is huge and I've already tested it and it is so comfortable. And on the side, you just have a little sofa nook and just behind the bed here, we just have a little desk area with the coffee and the water and everything and the big mirror. And out here we have a very, very large bathroom. I really like this shower here. It's kind of outdoor, but it's most of it is covered with this glass ceiling. It's just really, really beautiful and very large. But then on the other side, it gets even better with this very, very large bathtub here. But out here on the terrace, this is really the perfect space we have out here. Just some chairs and a table. We've got complete privacy and just most stunning views. But one of the reasons why I actually think that this might be the best hotel in all of Bali is when you look at others of these really, really fancy hotels, many of them cost like 10 times the amount that this hotel costs. Like you can easily spend $1,000 or more per night in many of those like super fancy hotels. And honestly, I'm not sure like what else they can be doing better than this place. Like the service is top notch. Everyone is super friendly. The property is absolutely stunning and the room is perfect. So just the value for money you get here is to me at least also one of the reasons why this is probably the best hotel in Bali. So we paid just under 200 US dollars per night here, I think, to have this incredible pool villa. Now they do also have some more budget rooms, which may cost like 100 US dollars per night. And it's very similar to, well, the room we have here. So it, but it's just a room with a balcony. And then you're just missing the outside area here. But of course, you still have access to just all of the beautiful resort. But to put it perhaps in perspective, so I live in Copenhagen. And if you want to stay in like a nice, like basic hotel room, you can easily pay $200, which is what we're paying to stay in this villa here. So Sally has to take a little work call now. So why don't we head out and explore a bit more of the property here. And this might be the yoga pavilion we're coming up to here. Let's just have a look. Oh, they have yoga classes, I think every morning at 8 a.m. If that's something for you. But I mean, what a beautiful building. And I think right underneath the yoga pavilion should be the spa area. Yeah, it's right here. I'm back here, a little temple. Yeah, I think you can get some really great massages in there. And then after you get your massage, then they have like a big flower bath hot tub for you with just the most incredible views. We haven't done that yet, but maybe we will. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Which way is it to the river? Down here? Ah, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I want to try and get down to the river that was down there, just to see what it looks like. Maybe go for a swim here. I think the receptionist told us they have cooking classes down here as well. Oh, this is so nice. Really beautiful. Got a little private river almost. And right back here behind the river is the cinnamon rice terraces. And that's really just another thing that makes this hotel even better is the location here in Cinnamon, which is probably one of my favorite areas in all of Bali. It's just so beautiful. And the nature here is amazing. And you can actually go for like a walk through the rice terraces in here. In, and that's what I did yesterday. So you can watch my last video where, where I actually explore a lot of the area around the resort here. That's why I think this whole area in general is such a hidden gem here in Bali. And I mean, if you can, then staying in this resort, it's not a bad option. We only really have the budget to stay here the one night though. <laughs> And of course, we have to talk about these pools. They have just the most beautiful design and you get an incredible view from here. So there's the upper level pool, which is probably the main pool. And then down below, you have a smaller pool. And uh, in here below the main pool is a little gym if you want to work out a bit. From the restaurant, there's this beautiful staircase leading up to the rooftop where they serve the afternoon tea. 
and somehow from up here you get an even better view. Of course, no great hotel stay is complete without a fantastic breakfast. And here they have a whole bunch of different dishes to choose from. So we got some bread, fruit, coffee of course, a pancake and some avocado toast. Let's just say we didn't leave hungry. As I mentioned earlier, the area of Sidemen where we currently are is just one of my favorite areas and one of the most beautiful areas in all of Bali. And there are just loads of things to do here. And you should watch this video right here if you want to see more of all the activities you can do here, like going trekking out in the rice fields here behind us and just riding around and seeing this beautiful area. 